welcome to Cover Story. Well, today we are joined by a very special guest and also somewhat unusual guest for our usual cover story from the other guests we usually get on cover story. But this is someone whom I actually uh, discovered by accident, I'll tell you that story later. But joining me is Rubal Nagi, she's an author, she's a film philanthropist, she's a social worker, an artist and uh, actually author is the last thing because she's just now come out with a book called The Slum Queen. She's done a lot of work with children, slum children all over India, beginning of course with Mumbai where she's based with her husband. So I'm going to totally get into the book and ask her to tell a story. But Rubel, I'll first tell you my story because I remember I was at the India International Center just three days ago and I saw this huge crowd and uh, there were, you know, uh, there were of course the Mantri cars, the normal Delhi cars, they, but there were also lots of, there was, you know, kids, uh, slum kids, there was, you know, a whole lot of people who were there and I was like, what is happening over here? And uh, then of course, uh, I saw Suhail Seed, Gajinder Shikawat, Mulidhar Rao, Chidambaram, Farooq Abdullah. I, then of course, I went and I googled and I found the slum queen. So welcome to this conversation. <laughs> Thank you. I'm very happy to be here. Thank you so much, Priya. No, I'm so glad because you're doing a lot of good work, uh, Rubel. You've been working with, uh, if you can, you know, tell our audience better they heard it from you uh, before we talk about your book, about the work that you're doing. Uh, well, I can say uh, I have a very simple uh, introduction. I am an artist, I sculpt, I paint and I'm a social worker. I love my so I guess uh, anything that connects me to children takes me to them. So what better than taking them to school? So, you know, and growing up in an army background, uh, traveling to the smallest possible village, smallest possible city to the biggest metropolitan cities in India. I've seen it all and, uh, you know, from the childhood I saw a lot of kids playing sometimes on the road, not going to school and I would always ask my uh, father, I said, Dad, ye bachche school nahi jate. So my dad would be like, you're too young for it, but, you know, it'll happen. So somewhere I feel the work I do was something, you know, that was connected to me from my childhood. Because if seeing some kids just playing and, you know, couple of times in a row and seeing them not going to school was bothering me. So some connect was already there in my childhood. And then every different city we went to in two years, you met different people, they look different, they eat different, they have a different language, their culture is so different. So I think that's the beauty of India, you know, how being so different, we are still so alike and we are so one, like I say, one nation, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, I guess that is where the whole connection to people started, that my love for children obviously was always very very much that I couldn't resist holding a child when I was a child myself. So my connect with children happened at, at an age when I was a child myself. So I guess anything and everything that I do in life is uh, the beginning point, the starting point was children. And uh, thanks to God Almighty and thanks to my team that we have been able to reach out to so many today. So you were telling us, uh, you know, uh, the journey, how it all began. Um, I'm quite interested about when you're reading your book also. You were reaching out to slum kids, but you're also taking your art to them. So first a bit about, you know, you got married when you were 18. That was very young. So you know, if you can just take me from that as to where it all began. So uh, I met my husband in Kolkata. And, and in fact, you credit him a lot for... I, yes, absolutely. Uh, I think you whenever I receive an award, I say... Uh, like you say, behind every man there's a successful woman. I would say behind me is my husband, uh, besides the God and my parents. But of course, I give big credit to him because when you're married in a comfortable home and you're not pushed to work, mm. uh, at that time when your mother-in-law and your husband is like, no, you know what, you don't know, but we know that you have something very nice in you because we see even stranger kids coming to you and being so nice to you. So. Why should uh, uh, you not go ahead and uh, do something with them? So slowly and gradually, then my mother-in-law also was an artist, not for public, public art, but mm -hmm. a fabulous artist. And I would sit with her and, you know, paint with her, sculpt with her. I did learn a lot from her. And she said, I think uh, I know what you must do. Then I went to college and I studied art. Then I did my political science degree. So mom in law pushed you towards uh, yes, studying more. Yes, she said, I have one son whom you've married to, but you are my daughter, not my daughter-in-law. Uh, and you must stand on your feet because as a woman, I always believed, kamana pade, chai na pade. Aapme shamta honi chahiye, aapke haath mein degree honi chahiye to earn and stand on your own feet. Because today you could be in the most comfortable uh, living condition. Tomorrow you don't know because, you know, life is unpredictable. So you must be saksham for that. And I, I thank her for giving me those principles and teaching me to, you know, go towards that. It's amazing to find a mother-in-law who yeah, thinks like yes, that. Yes, so, yes. I, uh, I I guess I was lucky mm. in, that, uh, in that sense completely. And then, uh, 
you know, like I said, growing in an army uh, background, I would see my mom uh, going to uh, meet Jawan's wife while dad was on the border and unke bachon ke saath welfare center mein jana. So I would always accompany her. My mother would come back. I would stay there with didis, we call them. Bhaiyas, Jawanon ko hum bhaiya bolte hain, un, unki wife ko didi. I would stay back with them and, uh, you know, chat with them and sit with them. They would come to my mother and say, ki hume itna achha lagta hai, uh, baby, they would call me yeah. baby. Baby abhi itni choti hai, but humse itni achhi maturity mein baat karti hain aur itna humari baat sunti hai, hume baat achha lagta hai. So in my book also, you will read that sometimes just listening to someone is also therapy. It's also helping that person to just vent out whatever they have in their heart, good and bad both. So my connect with people being, I'm a very people's person. So my connect with people, my connect with children started from a very young age when I was a child myself. Came to Bombay, started with my first exhibition in uh, Taj Art Gallery, which was a sold out show. And you know, at 18 and a half, 19, when you suddenly get like checks like that, you're like, oh my God, I've arrived. <laughs> I'm a star. <laughs> I think at you any age, a sold out show you, is a high. <laughs> no, from a very small town coming into Mumbai and getting a platform like uh, uh, Taj Art Gallery to showcase, they don't have that gallery anymore, they've shifted it upstairs now. But that was like the epic gallery after Jahangir. Jahangir obviously would have not given me the gallery because I was like nobody and no a newcomer and I had to really wait for so long. And I still remember Asha auntie was handling uh, the Taj Art Gallery. And thanks to my mother-in-law actually, I got that gallery to showcase my work. And you felt so good. But somewhere down the line, something was always missing because I just did not want to be an artist exhibiting, doing murals, doing uh, uh, commissioned work, auctioning here. And there. I've done, I, I mean, I've done over 150 exhibitions worldwide. So I, I did all that. But you know, बोलते ना कहीं ना कहीं एक छोटी सी कसर रह जाती है that you're not hundred percent happy or satisfied with what you're doing. एक मिसाल रह जाती है. Yeah, कहीं ना कहीं वो था. And I was always thinking how. I'm doing art, I'm spending so much time, am I wasting time because my bachos in mil rahi hoon, my logos in mil rahi hoon, my art karke, you know, just earning the money was not my, uh, yeah, and it was not something that excited, money never really excited me to the level that it would excite everyone. So I met Madhav Chawan, who's the founder of Pratham NGO, uh, in Pune, I still remember, and uh, sat with him. I, he tells me now because we know him, uh, I know him from many years now. He says, Dubli Patli Silarki walking into my uh, house and I want to do some social work and how do we connect because one of their board of uh, trustees had connected us. So he said, I thought college girl hai, sab ko, uh, you know, shuru shuru mein josh hota hai, karegi, to aur chali jayegi. So he said, uh, okay, you start with an art camp, you're an artist, so you have to do an art workshop. Ki ji. And I still remember that, that first art camp that I did with Pratham in Mumbai in uh, Kanya Vidya Mandir. There were 325 plus children, two days of art workshop we did. And in that workshop, the whole Pratham team was there. I had just one or two people with me because I was like going like a student or ma'am at that age also, I was called ma'am. Teacher, bache teacher bolte hai mujhe. So I went there, I, you know, looking at so many kids, oh my God, I, you know, that is something I still cherish that entering that room with 300 plus children, my heart was over the moon, you know, seeing so many children under one roof, I was feeling like, oh my God, you know, I could have not wished for anything else. And then I, I'm very involved with kids, like I'm hands on with bachas, papers, pens, colors, I was all there. And team was, I didn't know that uh, Madhav ji had told his team, ki, see how she is. Is she just uh, coming from a decent family, just trying to be a social worker or is she really connect, does she really connect genuinely to kids? And we did the two days of workshop. Now, the turning point that I really want to tell you is, at that camp, which is in my book also, at that camp when I was giving paper pencils to uh, the children there before they start, uh, painting with colors. I gave a pencil to one of the child there, boy. He looked at me with beautiful big eyes, five and a half year old. Uh, he said, what is this? So I thought, bacha masti kar rahe, you know, pencil to sabko pata hai. And kids are naughty. Uh, so I said, okay, now I get it. You don't know what a pencil is, you're trying to fool me. He had no expression of smile or happiness or naughtiness on his face. He was very stern. 
but you could be making a joke of some somebody right so i said but you don't know what a pencil is beta i am giving you the pencil pencil to sabko pata aap isse kya karoge he said maine kabhi dekhi nahi hai mujhe nahi pata ye kya hai so i looked at him and then i realized maybe he is not joking maybe he is serious so i sat there and i said okay now let's be fair to each other beta you tell me aapne kabhi pencil nahi dekhi bole nahi miss nahi dekhi hai miss I said, आपको पता है इससे क्या करते हैं so आप स्कूल नहीं जाते नहीं। आपने आपने किसी अपने घर वाले आजू बाजू के पास किसी के पास पेंसिल नहीं देखी नहीं सो आई सेट दे पेंसिल गेव इट टू हिम सी आई स्टिल गेट गोज बम्स इज अ ग्रोन अप चाइल्ड टूडे आई शाप द पेंसिल ऐसे इससे नाम लिखते हैं इससे ड्राॅइंग करते ड्राॅइंग करते हो बोले नहीं ऐसे करोगे so he made some circles something and he was someone who was not really jumping and laughing like other kids mm-hmm. and i then second day i spent more time with him sat and filled colors with him and he was end of the day he by the time he left he was smiling he was jumping he was like you know like a normal 5 and a half 6 year old child should be here they should yeah. be very happy and full of masti mm-hmm. that's the age tab nahi karenge to kab karenge and i came back home and i uh, told my husband i say you know what i i don't know how to react because i have come back with a very heavy heart that in a city like mumbai where we have best of everything if a child has still not seen pencil i said we are too blessed and when do we decide that we want to give back because everyone says 50 saal ke baad social work karna chahiye which i don't believe in and i told my husband now i'm going to leave everything that is around me which connects to all the so called good things in life and this is what i want to focus and this is what i want to do so he said you know sleep over it i know you're feeling bad because you have children i said no i'm not someone who feels bad for anyone i want to not feel bad i want to do something for them so you want to and that is where thing. yes i i was like no you know what god is too kind to us aur agar aur main hamesha i always believe ki agar bhagwan ne hame yahan rakha hai to hame 10 fold nahi 200 फोल्ड नीचे आके उन लोगों की मदद करनी चाहिए जो वहां पे है बिकॉज देर इज सो मच मोर वी नीड टू डू देर इज सो मच सो मेनी मोर पीपल वी वॉन्ट रीच आउट टू एंड दैट्स वेयर आई रेगुलरली देन आई एंड द फीडबैक टीम गेव माधव जी वॉज समथिंग विच इज लाइक देर फैमिली टू मी टूडे एंड आई रिमेंबर हिम कॉलिंग मैन टेलिंग मी आई कैन नॉट बिलीव दैट माई होल टीम इज योर फैन आई वॉज लाइक वाई ही सेट दे थर्ड मैम आएंगी कुर्सी पर बैठेंगी बस सबको बोलेंगी पेंटिंग करो लाइक नॉर्मली अदर पीपल कम एंड वर्कशॉप बट योर इन्वॉल्वमेंट माई टीम इज सेंग मैम को प्लीज रेगुलरली हमारे साथ जोड़ दीजिए सर क्योंकि हम तीन सौ बच्चे बुला रहे हैं नेक्स्ट कैम्प के लिए आठ सौ बच्चे आए थे सो वी वॉन्ट मैम टू बी देर बिकॉज बींग विद हर किड्स वॉन्ट टू कम एंड देन वी कैन इंकरेज एजुकेशन आर टैग लाइन इज एजुकेटिंग थ्रू आर्ट we uh-huh. we are our programs are run every program of learning is connected to art and creativity so that is how we started doing multiple art camps we did workshop we went to kids to lanavala khandala had a beautiful eight day uh, workshop and uh, sessions of art and creativity and dancing and sports and slowly and gradually one step after that you know i got guided by the senior people that okay let's start an ngo so he even sat me down which he doesn't even remember he said maine itna kya kiya hai you give me so much credit every time i said you don't know probably you were just casually telling me but for me that was a very big thing because i took it very seriously he said you're very good start your own ngo i said nahi nahi that's too much of headache i don't know how to do it. he said listen to me trust me you need board of trustees as who'll be there he said i'll be there i said this but you know so many people you get some people on it make a board start it because you don't want to stick to just doing these art camps i can see you taking children to different levels when it comes to education so do it so that is how we founded to uh, rubinagi art foundation he chose the name i said can we do like shiksha or something like that he saying no you're the artist art artist ke naam pe jana jata hai jab tak artist signature nahi karta hai even the biggest picasso will be treated as fake mm-hmm. agar uske upar picasso ke original signature nahi honge so you're the mother you're the sister you're the teacher you're the miss and madam and teacher to them so it should be you. so that's how rubel nagi art foundation started and then slowly and gradually from one slum to second to third to fourth so how to many slums now over 600 okay. yeah yeah we go up to like then we kind of covered almost every part of uh, maharashtra uh, especially mumbai 
and then we launched then uh, foundation launched many different initiatives like learn to earn ronak uh, skill india everything came later 2016 we launched paint dharavi okay i'm going to take a break and come back and i also want to ask her about a very interesting title for a book the slum queen i mean we can all guess why but who chose the title and uh, what is the slum queen up to next after a quick break Hello and welcome back to Cover Story. We are in conversation with Rubal Nagi. She just come out with her book, The Slum Queen, and we're going to be talking to her about the work that she's doing because, as you know, she's a philanthropist, she's an artist, and she works with slum children. Very interesting title, Rubal, for your book, The Slum Queen. Who thought of it? Well, all the credit. I will take no credit for this. Mm. I give all the credit to my butchers, my team. and in fact this title has taken couple of months to be finalized because uh, from six different states i was getting six, six different feedbacks but all the feedback had one thing in common that was the uh, word queen so what next you there's a lot of kashmir also you've done work over there you grew up in kashmir yes so you, uh, you are you planning to do work over there with the slum kids or you already done no so uh, i was born in jammu and kashmir and uh, as i mentioned earlier that dad was in the army so we used to go Uh, to a different city every two years. So holidays पे हम अपने grand parents को मिलने के लिए जम्मू जाते थे और कश्मीर जाते थे. And uh, beautiful memories of growing up there. But I did get little time in my childhood. Not as compared to uh, going back. I did one year of college, staying with my nani in the village there, when dad was posted on the border. And then I got married and I came back to Bombay. But आज हम वहाँ पे कश्मीर में सेवन सेंटर्स में काम कर रहे हैं हमारे आर रूबल नागी आर्ट फाउंडेशन के साथ सेंटर वहाँ चल रहे हैं विच आर फोकसिंग ऑन अगेन द क्वालिटी एजुकेशन वी स्टार्ट सम कंप्यूटर कोर्सेज फॉर चिल्ड्रेन एंड वीमेन वी आर फोकसिंग मोर ऑन कश्मीर वीमेन एंड यू व देयर फॉर द बुक लॉन्च यू सीन ट्वेल्व ऑफ आर गर्ल्स व देयर वी स्पेशली गॉट देम फ्राम कश्मीर एंड निगत ऑल्सो स्पोक ऑन द डाइस about her story where she comes from what she was doing and what she is doing now so hamara focus uh, foundation ka and even my focus in kashmir is completely on the women empowering them and i always believe how do you empower women by not sitting in a room and talking about women empowerment till they have financial independence till they are standing on their feet you cannot make them atmanirbhar you cannot give them uh, any kind of uh, you know stability in life to hamara yahi rehta hai ki hum skilling ke madhyam se vocational training ke madhyam se ladkiyon ko sikhaye aur uske baad hum unko kamana bhi sikhaye so today my girls i have started with uh, embroideries and uh, making cushion covers and uh, uh, shawls and they've all already sold 500 plus shawls and that money has gone to them so they are learning and they are also making so that's why we have so many girls today who are connected to us in um, kashmir aur kashmir mein hame uh, indian army ke through humne apna kaam shuru kiya tha because i was approached by one of the sectors uh, in kashmir uh, two years back uh, for art workshop again everybody who connects to us is through art so unhone request kiya ma'am close to christmas can we do an art workshop here and a women empowerment workshop and i remember even telling uh, Uh, the colonel at that time that women empowerment aap khali ek mujhe khali aap lecture dilana chahte hain to i am not game he said nahi ma'am please i will get some girls who aap sunenge to they'll get motivated being the army kid i i said all right so we actually started with that first art camp hmm. and in that art camp where they had called around 400 children there were more than 700 children who had participated bus ke drivers bhi aake baith gaye ki hum bhi painting karenge and then i went to a girls madrasa now this is not something which everyone has heard ki madrasa mein art workshop hoti hai for boys madrasa i went we did an art workshop but challenging was girls madrasa where they wear hijab which even covers their hand i sent the molvi saab and the army guys outside because i told them if i don't see your faces how do we connect they all took off their hijab they painted and one girl it's quoted in my book said ma'am this is the first time we've held colors in our hand we feel so good and so empowered by doing this kisi ne allah likha kisi ne phool banaye kisi ne pahadiyan uh, banayi kashmir ki but they express themselves and then over like an hour they said we want to go to goa we want to go to mumbai we want to go to jaipur we want to see other parts of the country and inshallah ma'am soon we hope god gives us the opportunity to go so that is where you know art and creativity and just letting 
you don't say anything because there's no controversy in painting you can paint what you want right. that is the medium that connects so art when i say educating through art is not that we want to make children artists we want to make girls an artist we want to bridge that gap between you and me you are a stranger to me today but within few days you will be my family because we've connected each other by this different initiatives that we started and everything starts with art because colors say i think kisi ko problem nahi hoti hai and it is also a medium of curiosity for people why the home being painted why the workshop has been done so that really helped us to go deeper into rural kashmir and today we have more than 2000 uh, people uh, youth and women who are connected to us in kashmir and girls are doing fabulously well in fact i would say among all our centers kashmir girls are right now doing far i would say the most amazing out of all the other girls you know you uh, when you are um, interacting with slum children obviously their priorities are different from the ones you would find in the bombay drawing rooms mumbai drawing rooms uh so anything you know like the incident about the pencil can you you know share with us some other so we did an art camp on carter road couple of years back and usme hamare slums ke bacche the aur usme i had called my celebrity friend kids also so ail khan ke ke beta hai nirwan wo bhi wahi baithe the malaika ka beta bhi wahi baitha tha aur bhi bahut sare names hain jo mere friend jinke bacche tab chote the they were all sitting together and because they came to drop them and they were there for some time to be with all the other children being my friends uh, all the kids were looking oh you know we see them on tv they are sitting so for me no matter who you are when you come for an art workshop it's equality now that is the gap that i'm trying to bridge mm. children are children if you're born in a big home or you're born in a, a slum does not uh, kind of It, it's not your fault or and i i don't think i don't see anything wrong being born in a slum because there are so many people who've started from a very humble background has done exceptionally well today and sometimes the bigger family kids kind of lack that right that hard work and that that fire in them wo aap jab ek normal tarike se like what i was trying to say their priorities must be different their exposure is of course definitely of course, different of course it's different but i must say things are changing now i see a lot of fire i see a lot of dynamic kids in in slums and in villages when somebody comes to even girls are like so motivated today you just have to give them the platform and i tell my girls i said aap ek kadam uthao main aapko 100 kadam aake leke jaungi that first step the most difficult one you take that step and join us and trust me will create magic and that's why today we have lakhs of girls lakhs of women who are connected to us and they want to work they want to stand on their own feet my girl in kashmir said nigar ma'am main अपने पैसे कमा के इकट्ठे करके तभी शादी करूंगी बाबा के ऊपर बोझ नहीं बनूंगी नाउ माय वन गर्ल इज डूइंग के एस माय टू बिहार बॉयज आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर आई एस टू ऑफ माय बॉयज हैव जॉइंड एन डी एव क्लियर एन डी ए इन पूना दिल बी बिकमिंग आर्मी ऑफिसर्स नाउ दिस इज वॉट इज जॉय फॉर मे दिस इज वॉट इज सक्सेस फॉर मी वेन दे कम एंड से मैम हियर वी आर यू नो फ्रॉम वेयर to where and they would pull the whole family out of slums and take them into better living and better uh, lifestyle and education education is the key i mean you have to educate them in a way that they are not just going to school and getting the degree you also have to educate yourself to become a better human being to also have that knowledge that it's not about just getting a certificate in hand if i'm educated and uh, you know highly educated and still i don't respect women i litter everywhere i abuse and i'm then yeah. there's no point of that education the values so values are yeah. very important mm-hmm. hum agar apne bachchon ko bachpan se hi sahi sanskar denge to wo aage ja ke bahut acha insaan bante hain so it also kind of starts from home so that is what we do in our centers we make sure that we are not just teaching them what they are studying in school but we teach them in a way that how manners are important softly baat kare hangama bhi hum bahut karte hain masti bhi bahut karte hain but basic manners कुछ जो इम्पॉर्टेंट चीज़ें हैं जो संस्कार हमारे बच्चों को देने हैं वो बहुत ज़रूरी है दैट्स वाई वी रेगुलरली डू पेरेंट टीचर मीटिंग्स ऑल्सो वी गेट मदर्स टू वी टॉक टू देम दैट हम जो यहाँ कर रहे हैं अगर आप उसको घर में बच्चों को नहीं सिखाएंगे तो दैट इज़ अ फ्यूटाइल एफर्ट सो वी कैंड वर्क विथ द पेरेंट्स इट्स अ होलिस्टिक ग्रोथ दैट वी वॉन्ट टू गिव टू चिल्ड्रेन इन आर सेंटर्स very nice before i let you go just a bit about the book is there anything that you would like to uh, highlight that uh, you've written in the book and share with our viewers well we started paint dharavi in 2016 the initiative of the foundation mm-hmm. and uh, book is about the transformation of uh, misal mumbai into misal india misal mumbai initiative will launched in 2018 january there is a chapter that you will read about misal 
and how in less than one year missile mumbai became missile india mm. because the main aim of missile mumbai was not just coloring the walls the main aim was connecting to people through art breaking that barrier that gap filling that gap of people living there and people coming from outside and misal ke through unko ye sikhana ki bachchon ka school jana kyun zaruri hai hamari bachchiyon ki padhai complete karna kyun zaruri hai why sanitation hygiene less use of plastic is important so misal pain dhara bhi was only about beautifying and art workshops mm-hmm. misal mumbai came as an entire package where we uplifted where we transformed the entire slum so i guess that's why uh, and uh, you see the first slum from ceiling yeah. and all the big celebrities they didn't know it was my work but they took a picture of the colorful mountain and they started tweeting about it blogging about it and that's how it went viral and we replicated this model to many different cities after that well congratulations and really you're doing a t- tremendously good work you know and i hope you continue and we hope we can help you in any way but thank you for this thank conversation thank you thank you so much thank you thank you For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.